Welcome to The Daily with Dre Love, where I am accountable to my life with you beautiful souls. Spirit offers me um, advice basically every day. Uh, many times I find that through cards. So what will we, do, we will be doing is bringing you the advice that Spirit offers me through my cards daily, making sense out of what we may not be seeing, and um, just kind of looking at it from that point. So today um, we're going to look at this Flower of Life deck. I've already done a just a one card pool because we're gonna keep it really simple. One thing to focus on. You can see if this resonates with you. And then after that, I'm gonna actually bring it into something that's been happening to me and we're going to talk real briefly. So the Flower of Life deck is what we are using today. And the card that happened to come up is Flow, which I'm super not surprised about because I have issues with Flow big time, big time, big time. So flow is about being open-minded. It means not to hold yourself into rigid and resistance patterns. Um, holding ourselves in openness is, is definitely our true nature. So um, you don't have to achieve it. You are already owning that. Um, if the mind's closed, then it's locked down to certain belief systems and it, it can arise from our conditioned experience here basically on earth. So um, the open heart is when we're all open to all experiences for the wisdom of the heart knows that at the center of experience is love and i know that um, that's definitely important so if you're searching for serenity security prosperity and to be loved then you already know it exists all you have to do is feel it and see it um, as you do the old illusions fueled by outdated beliefs and thought patterns will be transcended moving you towards more of who you are so feel the flow okay flow 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 you see this picture of nature right here, just be, just exist, just exist like this branch. That's all we have to do is exist. So I'm a recovering type A, admittedly, and I am working my way out of making things happen versus letting things flow. It was a true challenge for me for a real long time. And actually it still is. Um, I'm really retraining myself to relax in the process of the flow, realizing that the universe will fully support me and um, if I just look at what's happening in the situation and I don't have to force things happen, I don't have to have an expectation. And if it's not that expectation, then I don't have to be angry. I can look and say, oh, wait, hold on. Things aren't flowing correctly. What's going on here? The situation's trying to, sell, to tell me something. So, um, and, um, so trying to be at ease with that and um, release myself to that so I don't have resistance because I do know that when I hold resistance also, I hold it in my body and my body definitely tells me that I've got enough of that shit in there. So um, just to not be pushy and forceful and um, to relax in this process, definitely to release that resistance and um, check in with my body and see how things are going. So are you resistant in your life? Are you letting things happen? Are you letting things flow? Um, are you pissy when things don't happen your way? Do you make things happen versus let things happen? Um, allow things to happen. Just go with the flow. Ask yourself those questions. Check in with your body. See what it may be telling you, what it may be indicating to you. So I hope that that flow card helped you out today. Remember, we don't have to force our way through the universe. We are fully supported and loved by God. And the, God's got a way bigger plan than we do. So let this shit happen. Just allow it to happen. So check out my website at dreyalove.com. I've got a ton of resources and products. My Pinterest link is in my bio. And I've got a ton of YouTube, uh, resources on YouTube as well. I'm trying to keep it simple for you all taking advantage for us in the process of waking up. I hope I can help. Make it a beautiful day, people. In and with love.